Well, hey folks, uh, welcome to 101 Basics. Uh, I was asked a while back about knot tying. Now I have to say that when it comes to fishing, 99% of the time I use one knot. It's called the Palomar knot. Some of you may be familiar with it, some of you may not. That other 1% would be something else when it comes to vertical jig fishing like for, for crappie, which I don't do a whole lot of. Uh, I should, but I don't. The rest of the time, for many, many, many years, uh, I've used nothing but the Palomar knot uh, consistently. I used to use any kind of old knot, uh, and I would lose a lot more fish, but since I've been using the Palomar knot, I have I have cut my my fish loss down. Uh, I actually, if it uh, if a fish gets off, it's because he got hung up on something, or maybe the gill gill plate cut the line, or or something cut it, or bad frayed line. Very seldom do that not come loose. Very seldom. Uh, I've stuck with it throughout the years because it is highly effective at getting fish in the boat. And I want to show you how to tie that knot, although like I said, many of you may already know about it, but I'm going to show it to you. Now I hope you guys can see this okay. Uh, the first thing I do, let me get a little bit more line over here, the first thing I do is I take and I put a little small crimp in the line, doubling it. I take a worm hook and I use, I use this for a variety of, of lures. I go through the eye just like that. I come all the way down so far and keep it in doubled. Then I take and I begin to tie like this, like I'm going to tie a knot in it, but I don't. I open that loop up. And I put that, put that hook or lure through there, pull it like this, and cinch it down. Sometimes you'll have to wet this or moisten this to cinch it down real good. Then I take the tail of it, of course, whatever's left. Depending on what I'm, what I'm fishing for, I'll cut it off anywhere from a, probably usually about a quarter of an inch. Now that's a knot that's going to hold to the cows come home, as they say. Now you can use this knot that I just showed you for worm, worm hooking. I use it for bass. I use it for brim. I use it for catfish. Uh, tying on a hook, tying on a spinner bait, tying on a crank bait, uh, beetle spin just about anything you can think of. That's what I use. Depending on the tail now, I cut, usually worm fishing, I cut it off for about, the tail about a quarter of an inch. Spinner bait or crank bait, it doesn't have to be cut off that much. You know, a half inch, that, that's fine, you know, because it's a fast acting strike uh, type of a lure. But a worm, worm hook or jig, when you kind of uh, uh, slow moving it and bouncing it, I cut it off where hopefully most of the uh, 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 worm, plastic worm or whatever you're using will hide that part. Uh, it's a highly effective, uh, highly, highly effective uh, knot. And if you got a favorite knot, uh, share it down below. I'd like to hear about it. Uh, maybe you uh, uh, can teach me something. I'm always willing to learn. That's one thing about fishing. Uh, now I've I fished, I have fished over 40 years. Uh, I'm not a pro by a long shot. There's a lot of people that know a lot more about fishing than I do. But I've learned a lot of techniques throughout the years that I have found it works. But uh, I'm always open to new ideas. So I hope that helped you. The guy that asked me about this, I hope that helped you and others also. So hopefully, see you soon.